So what we're going to look at getting is a USB to RS-232 or often called a serial or console cable. So you want to get one of those and also one of these which is a uh, again is a female RS-232 cable um, that goes to an RJ45 connector. These actually look quite expensive so maybe look on uh, eBay for some cheaper ones. So um, we're going to get our Raspberry Pi and um, we're going to have our USB to serial adapter. So on one side we have our 9 pin RS-232 serial console cable and the other side we have a standard USB cable. So we're going to plug that into our Pi. Um, so here is an example of something um, that you might actually want to connect. Um, it's a business class firewall, one of the smaller boxes at the bottom of the spectrum. And say for example you don't have a network connection to it, um, and, but you still want to get a command line access to it. And you can see here that it has a RJ45 um, connector, serial connector. Okay, so we're going to need to get our second cable, which is an RJ45 to um, RS232 DB9 connector. And we're going to plug um, that into our USB to um, serial converter and then plug that into our serial port on our device. Um, so, and that's how the uh, setup should look. So here's an example of the other type of serial cable connector, which is a, um, a normal RS-232 connector. So we're going to power everything on and we're going to install the software Minicom. So Minicom is the software we're going to use that will um, interact with the USB serial adapter and um, will actually allow us to get our command line access. So run the command sudo apt-get install Minicom. So now that Minicom has been installed, we're going to want to run the command dmessage. This is an incredibly useful command that will actually output to the screen the same information um, that scrolled past your screen when the system was booting, and it allows us to look at all of the information that was written to the screen at boot time. Um, what we're looking for here is for the device name that was given to the USB to serial adapter when we plugged that in a moment ago. I'm going to run the command um, dmessage and then pipe grep USB just to um, look for um, the just any words that contain USB. Um, so it's going to do a, basically a search string, which is the grep command. And we can see here when we do that, we get this um, converter now attached to TTY USB 0. TTY USB 0 is the device name that's been given to my USB device. So we're now going to want to interact with the Minicom software. So if we run the Minicom command with um, minus D, which is, and then give it the path of the device, and then we use minus B for the board rate, and um, board rate is the uh, speed at which the data transmits at bits per second. So in this example, we're going to be um, pointing it towards slash dev slash TTY USB zero, which is our serial to USB converter, and using board rate 9600, which is the default. When we hit enter, we're then going to be given a command prompt and asked to log in. Um, for my specific firewall, um, it, that's how it works. And what we're actually getting here is the um, command line interface for my actual firewall as opposed to the Raspberry Pi. So via the Raspberry Pi, I've been able to gain command line access to a different device that was not plugged into my network with any network cables um, and um, is a fantastic way of getting access to these type of devices. And there's a few commands on the screen there on how to quit out of Minicom and go back to a normal situation. So you guys might be wondering why I'm talking about um, a really old technology, um, serial cables, and what use they have with the Raspberry Pi. Um, the reason I use it is because in my day job I have to um, replace a lot of our customers' faulty hardware, and um, this might be a firewall or a large-scale web proxy. And um, when we're looking at staging these boxes, and we do this in our lab environment, and um, we have to get them ready with the customer's details, so their IP address, their default gateway, which can often make it a bit tricky to get to it. The best way to configure these boxes is via command line. Um, so um, we do this via using a serial cable uh, such as this. And despite being um, sort of modern appliances, most, um, even very, very expensive, you know, 100,000 pound pieces of equipment will still have a serial cable connector on the back of it. So this is what, what this allows me to do is to be very lazy and plug my Pi into our staging network 
and the serial cable into the um, appliance. And then from my desk, which is nice and warm and not in the comms room, which is really, really cold, I can get a um, SSH to my Raspberry Pi and then I can console from the Raspberry Pi onto the appliance and in the warmth of my desk um, I can get my customers boxes ready and um, that's why I'm using it. So I hope it makes sense and explains a little bit why I'm talking about why to do this and um, if you've got any comments please leave them in the comments um, field below. Thanks so much. And if you feel like it don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on my Facebook page.